What's good, my fellow introverts? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mina here, back with another commentary video, guys. I'm here with another episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. This is episode 21, Jujutsu Koshin. Guys, I'm excited, guys. We're almost at the end of the road. Um, last episode we had the whole gang fighting. Well, not exactly the whole gang, cause Megami and the rest was kind of out of commission. Um, the girl that's part of the team, she was about to fight, but you know, Go just stepped in and shut like the whole shit down. And the bodies got what they wanted, which was Sukuna's finger. So yeah, it was a lot of action last episode, a lot of um cool shit. I really enjoyed um last episode. So I'm hoping for some more action this episode. I don't know, maybe it's a, a cool down since Gojo came and shut shit down with his two mega red and blue balls. <laughs> but um I wanna see I wanna see what happens next. I'm very entertained by this show and I can't wait to watch the movie after I'm finished with the series. So let's get right to it. I don't even wanna talk anymore guys. Let's get it. So guys, bad news. Unfortunately, I'm halfway through the episode and I just realized my shit wasn't recording. Moment of silence for that one. Well, um, I'm just gonna have to combine episode 21, the rest of episode 21 and 22 together. So look forward to that, guys. <laughs> but what's going on so far is the fact that we have a new character, a new enemy. She or he, Gojo is also confused on the sex, <laughs> is um new to the team of villainy, but maybe not new. Maybe just new for the audience. They have a red patch and they might be related to Sukuna. We don't know. But it, it, it kind of looks, not really red, but kind of pink like Yuji. And now... Um, they succeeded in stealing the stuff, their fingers, and they stole the fingers and this cursed object they had in like the vault, super, super secret vault, because apparently, um, I'm not sure if he's a jujitsu sorcerer, but there's a type of person that is immortal, not necessarily strong. He still ages? I don't know. But the way the cursed spirit made it seem was that he was kind of like a tree of sorts. So um, I think that's who everyone calls Tengen. I think last episode I was wondering who Tengen is and that's the one who makes the barriers. Apparently it's really strong and meant to hide things like bolts. But once inside, um, it's easy to, you know, go in and out or something along the lines. And the cursed spirits were smart about their actions. They let the Jujutsu sorcerers get Sukuna's finger with Mahi Mahito's samples, <laughs> samples or whatever on it. And Mahito was able to find where the vault was, even though it was hidden. So that was cool. And um, now this is basically a filler, filler episode. It does seem that Sukuna does really have plans for Megami. At least the anime made it seem like that. Because when the cursed spirits were talking, and um, this was before they came in, and it was just a flashback. This was before they came in and you know started messing with them or whatever. They mentioned that the one of the cursed spirits was like, "Why didn't we just? Why don't we just kill all the kids? You know." doesn't matter but apparently the the black haired curse spirit he was all like that wouldn't be smart it might anger Sukuna and they showed uh, um a picture of Megami so I'm sure Me Megami and Sukuna is, are gonna have another one-on-one -on -one conversation I'm still not sure what great power Sukuna was talking about that Megami has but I'm interested in finding out I don't think this is gonna be this episode though and yeah um since this episode is practically a filler, they're trying to figure out if they should continue with the exchange event or not. And Toto made some points where, you know, that though people died, it wasn't anyone, um, anyone they were exactly close to. 
so they should leave the morning for you know relatives and close friends and stuff like that and continue with what they were trying to do i guess along the lines that's what he was trying to say and uh, it sounds kind of mean but i don't think it is i feel like he made a point you know keep on keeping on in this kind of business they do they it's kind of a must where they have to just keep going they can't ever like you know stop <laughs> So they're just trying to figure out if they should continue and it seems like they did. So let's get right into it. The rest of this episode is probably like a few minutes left guys, but it's mostly a filler episode. So it's okay. Positive. <laughs> the show must go on. Let's, let's get it. I'm in. Salmon. Salmon. There are no individual battles. I really thought they did that, though. Individual battles. Every year till now, the first day has been team battles and the second individual battles. I don't like routines, but this is how it's done. Every year we put the competition methods here and pull one out. Huh? Mm. So I just pick at random. Principal Gakuganji's previous visit was to discuss what items might be needed on the day of the event. So that's really how they, they pick the event. So they sometimes they have individual battles because they pick individual battles. I wonder if they ever did like a battle royale. royale? How, is it battle royale? Battle royale. Battle royale. Battle royale. Battle royale. Y'all know what I mean. I'm talking about gladiator style fights. Like a free for all, like just everyone at each other of course they have the sides and they just go head to head that would be so cool that would have been a cool exchange event baseball you too what's going on here yaga mm -hmm. i don't know mm -hmm. i was sure i put individual battles in there <laughs> out huh but why momo if you don't know the rules then say so i do know them when the ball is <laughs> my front so are they not like allowed to use curse energy in this game I heard you fought off a special grade. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mostly thanks to Toto and Gojo, really. No helmet, dude? Right? Because <laughs> you kind of like, you know, but the same, I'm sorry. Itadori, why did you want to be a jujutsu sorcerer? Oh, no. Now you want to get to know him after you tried to kill him? Okay. And it happened. But I'm kind of a loner. So. I want to save lots of people, so that I'll have lots of them watching over me when I die. If you're not there, Mom, then I won't become a Jujutsu Sorcerer! You'll only be alone for now. And one day, once you've become a great Sorcerer, I know you'll come and get me. You know, I was about to get mad okay. over the fact that he, he just seems to like, you know, want to be friends with Yuji now like not exactly friends but want to be cool which is a good thing I don't know what my problem is I don't I don't need conflict guys I'm not toxic <laughs> but um it's just I was like y'all were enemies why are you what's wrong with you but then I realized at the end of the day they were told to do this and he had his reasons but at the end of the day they're all jujitsu sorcerers they're all um they're all part of the same organization and they all do the same thing, which is kill curse spirits and save human beings. So it's like, yeah, why, why beef? So I get that. I believe in that. I'm glad. They call me Tanaka of Tohoku. No, Tanaka's the Tanaka of Tohoku. And Tanaka's a pitcher. Benito flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Benito flakes. He's like, duh. All right, she got on base. Fueled by rage. <laughs> the fueled by rage. <laughs> Out. Come on, Panda. <laughs> Ooh, of course. Gone. Home run. Bobby. Oh. Huh? Oh, she 
said she was cutting so much style like she's like i'm the shit yes i did that and i was girl i was rooting for you too i was like same you did that you did that maki and then catcher huh as catcher you'll call the shots lead the defense etc one has to say it's a fitting position for my brother <laughs> I'm here reading the thing because I don't do that often, but <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a total eye. I know you won't be able to see this since it's, um the visual is a little low and stuff. Copyright reasons, guys. YouTube. So they said total oi oi catcher won the middle school nationals with Ichidori. Ichidori denies this. <laughs> He's steady saying that this nigga was his friend since middle school. They were boys. This is it's weird. Promise me this, brother. In a second, if I hit a home run right here, next time you'll pick. Dramatic. Okay. Hey, nice pitch. Nice, nice pitch. pitch. Nice, nice pitch, Maki. <laughs> nice pitch. Really, <laughs> Wow, bro. Everyone really hates you. <laughs> I mean, everyone. Oh, poor Toto. He's not liked. It's not about liking or hating him. The fact is that Itadori isn't allowed to exist under Jujutsu laws. We must not bend the rules of the group for any one individual. Especially as we know that many others may die because Itadori lives. But there are lives that were saved thanks to him too. Not that this applies only to our students. But they're going to stack up many regrets as their lives go on. I wish I had done that. I wish they'd done this. I should have said that. I wish someone had told me this. So is he human? Seem like it. To be honest with you, I don't know what the right decision is when it comes to Itadori. For now, let's just watch over him, all right? Whoa, he made it! Yeah, Inomaki's... Inomaki! I, I know it was an Ino. I know it. Like, I literally knew his name. But it's like it couldn't get it off my tongue. Like, what the heck? Inumaki. I probably said this last episode too and probably like forgot it. Guys, it's, it's a minute since I watched. It's a while between episodes, guys. How about we save our regrets for another day? Oh, he is naturally strong. Totally forgot about that. I love the music. It's so <laughs> it's so lighthearted. Oh shit! So that means next episode, niggas gonna die. Wow. Is this what this filler is? Fill us with a little joy and comedy, and then crush our hearts and soul. I think this is what that is. Wow. <laughs> Aw, uh, that was a solid episode, guys. There's not really much to talk about with this one, but still really good. Mostly because it was lighthearted. And I'm really sorry, guys. You didn't get to see the first part of the anime. But the second part was really where the action was, which was the baseball game. It was thoroughly um comedic. This episode, really sweet. Like the music, like the vibe. And not really much to say, so let's get right on to episode 22, guys, because I'm ready. I'm ready for them to crush my soul, my heart. I bet it's just going to be pain. So much pain. <laughs> so this episode is called The Origin of Blind Obedience. Oof, what's going to happen? Is the fighting starting, or is this kind of another filler episode? But just, just to set the tone for it, you know, the brutalization of our souls, you know. <laughs> Is it setting us up for years you, right now? The locking door was left hanging wide What's gonna open. happen? Don't make me repeat my Oh yep, here's the death. They already reported this last week. Too. Here's the death. Why am I paying such high management fees for such crappy service? Are you even listening to me? You're dead. Ooh. They all 
always look so strange. All these curse spirits. Strange. They were stabbed to death by a cursed spirit at the entrances to their apartments. And all three of them, just days prior to their murders, had filed the same complaint with their property managers. They all claimed they'd found the security doors left wide open. So, we looked for connections between the three of them. And we discovered that all three had attended the same middle school for two years. Which would mean that all three must have received the same curse. And it didn't activate until years later. Mm. Way to go, Kogi! So stuff like that happens. Niggas just go through life like curse free and then <laughs> a dormant curse is just, you know, activated like years later. That's messed up. They all kind of look like bad people as well. But I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. A funeral? Is this the home of that acquaintance? Yeah. Or it used to be. I was just about to say, then he just died. Turns out he died the same way the other three did. He lived with his family, so there was no auto-locking door, but he was killed right at the entrance, just like the others. And he'd also recently told other family members that another time he'd come home alone, he found that the door was unlocked. Oh, this is a different person. Okay. Guys, I'm slow. Huh? <laughs> it's good to see you again! I did. We haven't seen you since graduation, Fushiguro. Oh? I, uh, went to school here well that's a surprise but that's not the point i thought i need ug <laughs> along with every other stoner and slacker and delinquent here at the school got beat up by fushiguro huh? Ooh, to beat up the delinquents who are you students from other schools are not allowed in here who are you to be questioning us huh he's clearly staff take it down a notch right is that fushiguro Hello. Probably. Talk it as a member of the staff. Great! Then I leave it to you. How convenient. I mean, you did go to school here. Dark rumors. <laughs> they could be difficult, but it was just your average middle school stuff. Then again, ill omen? Are you talking about- It was him. He's kind of shady. You're still here, <laughs> Andy? It's the old man. I don't trust bridge. him. It's a suicide He did it. Side. Considered haunted by some of the locals. Oh, yes, you're right. Back then, it was all the rage among delinquents to bungee jump off Yasuhachi Bridge late at night to test one's courage. You know, I never understood that. It's till this day, it has kids that like do stuff like that. Like, you know, everyone probably had the Bloody Mary thing. You know, you spin in the mirror two times and you chant her name. I was never into those stuff. I thoroughly believe that Bloody Mary would like, you know, come and pull me by my foot. And people were like, oh, I did it. I did it with my, my grandma. I did it. And she's fine. I'm like, well, your grandma is going to die. <laughs> Horrible, I know. But this is my younger self. And I was very, I well, was much more, okay? Much more superstitious. I, I am raised, um... A Caribbean girl, <laughs> and there's a bunch of superstitions, you know. Church folk, you invite evil to your home. That's how I saw it. You invite evil to your home. Evil is real, just like good is real. So it's, it's, I never understood why people did it like it was a game, like it was fun. Exciting, sure, especially to hear about this. It's like, wow, y'all crazy. But you know, to hear about it is cool. Just don't come over to my house and do it. <laughs> One day, Canada and the other three all were absent without permission. By itself, that wasn't strange. Then, when we contacted all of their families, we learned that none of the four boys had come home from school the day before. It caused a pretty big stir. Dog, is the then music for me? Then they were found me. laying under the bridge, mm. unconscious. Like, nigga, that's... Okay. A horror show time? Swore up and down that they didn't remember a thing. That was really good music setting. Wow. As a matter of fact, I've been to that bridge. To bungee jump? Jump! <laughs> Just like in schools, curses can take root in haunted locations. So people from Jujutsu High regularly patrol that bridge. There wasn't anything strange at the time, even though it became a little famous. It's still in use as a normal bridge. We still have to go and check it out. Though. I don't trust that I old agree. man. Fushiguro, 
He did something. There's something I was hoping he crossed it out. about. He did something. What is it? When you were in school here, Sumiki always took care of you. Is she doing okay these days? Oh, is this a yes. girl he always Wait, thinks about? Sumiki. Oh my god. What? Oh, How come you never tell us anything about okay. yourself? Yeah, what she said. Yeah, she did. When they find cursed objects like these, why don't they just destroy them? They can't destroy them. Not with the special grades. So they use a pact to put their life on pause to not harm others, but preserve their existence. Hmm. Well, then anyone will work for this purpose, right? <laughs> oh. Open up and say, ah. Oh. Um. You know, I just walking on the street some regular day. Just get kidnapped and some baby worm insect thing <laughs> gets shoved in your mouth while you bare ass naked. It. It's harsh. Harsh life <laughs> that world is. We're here. Koinokuchi Canyon, Yasuhachi Bridge. Koinokuchi Canyon. <laughs> hey, sorry to ask you this when you just woke up. But could you go run a little errand for me? So all cursed spirits need a vessel. Were they originally bodies? Had their own bodies until, you know, they got certified? I know they can't die. So, hmm. I don't know. We're back to square one. Won't matters get worse if we don't hurry? So there might still be plenty of others who got cursed. So then when my brother said that you were looking into him and also Yasuhachi Bridge, I thought... Maybe the two things were related. What two things? Morishita's unexpected death and Yasuhachi Bridge. No, they're not. No connection. You see, I... I went there too. And lately, I've been finding the shop's automatic door wide open when I come home, but it only happens to me. Mom and Dad both told me it's just a coincidence. And I remembered that night out on the bridge. When did the issue with your automatic door start? It's happened about Creepy. every other day for exactly one week. What was the issue with the sister? <laughs> I can't remember. It was something. I just remember a headless woman. Was that his sister? But then it didn't turn out to be headless. And it was just like a mannequin. Oop, my memory is shot. I'm alright. Hang on, I just need a moment. Yeah, she probably she's probably dead is she sick comatose and another thing Stressful. you'll probably assign this mission with itadori's growth taken into account so if it's even more dangerous than was originally thought then it might be too much for a second grade sorcerer no the mission was already dangerous for all three of us i can't leave it to just the two of them gojo will return next week i could wait and ask him then where did gojo go the time limit's the big problem this isn't the type of cursed spirit that attacks someone. It's the type that activates a cursed technique from within a marked person. Yeah, she's fine. But this mission's danger level just shot up. Other sorcerers will be taking over the case. You two can go home now. Yeah, that was also believable. You! I'll leave after I say goodbye to Takeda. Now just go. They're gonna end up seeing him, right? It's impossible to constantly keep a domain imbued with a technique deployed forever. Which means it's like that barrier at the juvenile detention center. An incomplete domain. I'm actually lucky this time around. You really don't tell us enough about yourself. Sure don't. <laughs> I knew I knew it. Like, it was obviously the lion. We're not saying you have to tell us everything, but come on. At least let us help. Tsumiki. He's still bedridden. Uh. Mm, okay, I knew it was something. Okay, okay. Jeez, we get it now. You should have just told us all that from the start. Oh. <laughs> hmm. The cursed spirit is within its barrier, so the procedure's important. You go at night, from underneath. And one more thing. We didn't just go over this? At the bottom of the canyon, there might be oh, a okay. river. More information. I wouldn't call this a river. Crossing a anymore. river. 
Acts that symbolize crossing over to the afterlife, these carry important meanings in sorcery. And those other people just happened to cross that river? Like, what the heck? Did they know, like, was that part of the, the test of courage or? It's a squid! <laughs> there it is. You know, some of them look so comedic and kind of cute, like that one. <laughs> Okay, take back the cute. Oh, but this, isn't isn't this the one that Mahito made? So those two. Then why don't you two focus on that first one? I'll exercise this one. Is that so? You're going to play okay, with me. Okay, you Of course it ends. I was expecting it. You know, I'm I'm getting to know how these anime work. How, how they tend to, you know, disappoint me by doing this, you know, these cliffhangers. Very much not appreciated, but it's whatever, it's cool. Um, that was episode 22, guys. And it was a solid episode, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed learning a little more about Megami. I could have remembered the story on his sister, I just knew he had something with some girl. It was important in some way. I just couldn't remember if she was dead or alive. Well, it's good news. She's alive. Could die, but you know. And now Mahito just instructed a special grade to do something. But it seems the special grade weren't after, like, them. It was after the cursed spirit. Like he said, it seems like someone got here before I did. So it's like, okay, why? Is this like a recruitment thing? Can they do that? Can cursed spirits leave, like, their homes <laughs> the little domes domains and stuff can they do that and you know well obviously they can to go get their victims but otherwise you know um so uh it wasn't really much this episode but it seemed it was really cool and i can't wait till the next episode so guys please like subscribe comment let me know what you guys think and yeah guys that's it until next time